Hi, it's Mark here from FGS Glass. I'm looking at some uh, SGP glass uh, installed from a different supplier. Um, the client asked me to come and have a look um, to inspect the glass balustrade. And as you can see, this is a wet glaze balustrade. And the glass has started to delaminate, uh, as you can see from these pictures. So the delamination is a direct effect of uh, water uh, sitting on the interlayer. And so um, dry glaze channel is definitely the way to go. And this wet glaze channel has allowed the water to just absorb into the grout and, uh, and get into the interlayer starting a delamination process. In this balustrade, the other supplier has chosen to finish the interlayer, the century glass interlayer, uh, below the edge of the glass. Now this can provide a neater finish in the short to medium term, but can cause big problems. This is a dry glaze balustrade system. However, two of the panels on this particular balcony needed to be replaced due to delamination. And that's because this water really can sit here in this cavity and allow that delamination to propagate. It's important to note that these uh, cracking and crazing you can see here of the century glass interlayer is normal and will happen for all SGP glass, including FGS ViewSafe. However, with Edge Plus on FGS ViewSafe, you get a perfectly flat finish across the top. So that doesn't allow water to sit and means you'll have a much better quality product for a longer time. However, you can see the start of some edge whitening here. It'll start as uh, what almost looks like a line of um, of bubbles appearing on the top edge of the glass and that's pretty consistent uh, with glass that's installed externally and uh, is not a uh, indication of delamination but rather just the oxidization of the uh, interlayer um, especially when exposed to uh, temperature cycling. Thanks for watching I've been Mark from FGS Glass if you need any help with toughened laminated glass give me a call 0438 386 913 or send me an email mark.a at fgs.com.au